The pandemic changed a lot of things, including the cybersecurity landscape. Businesses moved employees home, and there was a shift from one more secure network to dozens, hundreds, or thousands of home networks, each a potential target for a cyber attack. Investigative reporter Renee Cooper is live in our Springfield newsroom tonight. So, Renee, what are these hackers looking for? Well, Jessica, there's a lot of different reasons, and it's not always about stealing money. Cyber specialists say they often want to gain access to your computer to use it for something illegal. That way, that crime is not then traced back to the criminal. But they could be picking up your credit card information along the way. This was all part of the cybersecurity strategy update from the FBI in Springfield today. The special agent in charge met with leaders of InfraGuard. That's a network of tens of thousands of private sector members who have teamed up as cyber threat informants to the FBI. Seeing how it greatly expands the pool of people with access to FBI intel, I asked how much personal information are these InfraGuard members entrusted with? We have zero access to that. It's much more this ransomware that you're fighting, Dave, we think this is coming from an advanced persistent threat out of China. This is the name of the organization. These are the indications that it is that group. So it's intelligence. It's not private personal information. InfraGuard members do pass an FBI background check, and they're typically people who have worked in cybersecurity or in critical infrastructure fields like healthcare, banking, or other data related professions. Now, the best at home protections are things like keeping up with computer software updates using complex and different passwords. And I know you know about those rather burdensome multi, -authent uh, multi factor authentication. Uh, services. Now, cyber experts say that on top of the passwords will actually protect against 90% of threats. I'll have a few more tips for you online. For now, back to you. All right, Renee, thank you.